Today, we know a lot of people are going to be surrounded by treats for Memorial Day, parties, bar yes. uh, barbecues, things like that. So we want to bring in Dr. Ginger Garner for some help with sticking to our health goals through all of this. Always important topic. She and her team specialize in pelvic and orthopedic health in Greensboro. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. So we heard you recently had a ribbon cutting for an expansion. What new features are you offering? I did. Uh, um, I, it's kind of, I've come full circle. I've been a PT for over 25 years. And when I first started, I taught and offered yoga classes as a way to reach the public because healthcare can be expensive, if, especially for people who have higher co-pays or uninsured. And, and so I started a studio as a way to offer classes and so they could actually work with a physical therapist and get their fitness all at the same time. So our new um, services are going to be kind of that full circle offering of therapeutic yoga and Pilates and things like that. Wow, awesome. Definitely a different mm -hmm. approach to healthcare, but I'm sure welcome for a lot of people who aren't as familiar with it. So we also hear you are a singer and you want to talk about some research <laughs> between the connection of our voice and pelvic floor health. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, I first noticed it as a mom. I'm a mom of three. And so with every pregnancy, I was like, okay, wow, this is hard to sing. <laughs> Um, the bigger I got, the harder it was to sing, and I started to notice the connection between the voice and the pelvic floor. Um, because, you know, after you give birth, there's a lot of things to put back together again. And so now it's becoming more widely recognized, and I've been teaching it for a little over um, a decade, the voice to pelvic floor connection. For example, someone could come in with hip pain or back pain, but it actually could be driven by the scientific connection with the voice and vice versa. Someone with a voice issue could actually end up having a core or a pelvic floor issue. And so they end up, what I do is I end up balancing those out um, to make sure they have the voice they want and also the core and the pelvic floor they want. That is very interesting. Yeah. Also, you wanna tell us about new technology that your clinic is using. Is it R-U-S-I, how do you pronounce that? Yeah, it's rehab ultrasound imaging. And it, you know, it's a good time to be in healthcare. It's a good time to be alive right now because just a few years ago, it really wasn't widely available. And so our clinic, we feel very fortunate that um, we were be able, able to invest in imaging because it's a musculoskeletal imaging. So whereas you might go and get ultrasound for say pregnancy, since we're talking about that, um, I'm actually using imaging to see how uh, the core is functioning, to see the, the view, the pelvic floor, to see how that's impacting um, where certain internal organs are, because let's say with women's health issues, um, you can have something called pelvic organ prolapse where things drop and they're a little lower than they used to be, but it doesn't mean they can't go back to where they used to be. It's just that now imaging allows me to see that in practice, whereas before there was it took longer to get someone better. Now it doesn't take quite as long because yeah, I can actually visualize and show people in real time, particularly in women's health, but also with men's health too. And that allows us to just speed up the process of whatever we're prescribing, that kind of thing. So it really does, it's a game changer for the practice. Yeah, and it's great that you can speak from some firsthand mm -hmm. experience, probably relate to your patients in a lot of ways through this. So another acronym to break down, FILM. What does that stand for and how does someone yeah. stick to that lifestyle? Yeah, FILM stands for Functional, Integrative, and Lifestyle Medicine. So as a pelvic PT, I, I kind of was born as an orthopedic PT and then went into pelvic health because it's, um, it's a, more of a subspecialty. As I went into pelvic health, I realized just how critical it was to say, um, for example, hormone management, perimenopause, menopause is, is you know, the scientific evidence for that. Um, the White House putting a bunch of money into menopause research and endometriosis research. There's a huge overlap with hormonal regulation and how our outcomes are with back pain, you know, prolapse incontinence or leakage, those types of things. And so functional integrative and lifestyle medicine allows us to measure those things. It allows us to look for root cause. So whereas someone might come in and go, oh gosh, well, I have urinary liquid leakage, for example, it actually could be driven not by pelvic floor and definitely not by the fact that you didn't do Kegels because a lot of times those can make things worse. It could just be driven by hormonal changes. And so when you look at functional medicine approach, it's kind of like looking for root cause. And then the integrative and lifestyle medicine part allows us to look at how sleep quality, how what you eat, 
might be, for example, a nutritional trigger could create an inflammatory situation that sets you up for something called um, painful bladder syndrome. And again, it might not be that the pelvic floor is weak or tight, what we, what we may typically think of, it could be related to a nutritional issue. So when you look at nutrition or sleep or stress management, there's a lot of science that supports if we look at those things and help people make those changes, they get much better outcomes, you know, orthopedically and through and with pelvic health, for example. Thank you so much for your insight, Dr. Garner, and your time, all of that helpful information and folks at home. Her clinic is located on Revolution Mill Drive in Greensboro. The address is now on your screen. You can also head to GarnerPelvicHealth.com for more information.